what is up guys, Jared Campisi with my good buddy Dotto. Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna to be a very exciting video. We got a random 50 degree day here in the end of December in Pennsylvania. So we figured why not grab the V2 Bayless with the fresh full titanium Akrapovich exhaust system and the clear clutch and the sprint filter and take it out for a ride and see how she feels. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Don't forget, you can be entered to win this bike, patreon.com slash Customs. It's always the first link in the description below. Let's get this video started. All right, so both bikes are warmed up and I think first thing we should do is give you a little, a little taste of the sound quality of this bad boy. One of my favorite exhausts of all time. Go ahead, Dotto. It still doesn't have the flash, so there's an engine light, but um, tomorrow I'm gonna take it to the dyno and they'll do the Acra up map for me at Warhorse at Camp Hill. So that'll take care of the engine light, it was probably from the servo motor being removed. So that's a twin. This is also a twin. That's a 958cc twin. This is a 1260 twin. So let's hear the difference. They sound pretty similar. That's, uh, that's in my top three best sounding exhausts of all time. And I think this is probably maybe just outside the top three. Well, maybe in the top three as well. The, these two bikes here in the Monster, you know, are some of the best sounding bikes ever. I also think that this, the Acro we just put on uh -huh. the underbelly, is the best looking. It flows with the lines yes. of the bike so yep. nicely. Yep, the way that you get to see one of the mid pipes right there, the two bottom ones that take up the belly panel. You got that beautiful curve on the backside and then all of that shit going on the collectors. And this is all gonna blue in. It starts turning gold first and then as it gets hotter, it'll turn blue and then purples and all kinds of cool stuff. But look at that, man, what a beautiful bike. So I'm excited. We're gonna throw on the GoPro. Well, I'm gonna throw on the GoPro. We're gonna hop on these beauties and we're gonna go for a ride and let you know how it feels compared to stock because in stock form, it was a vacuum cleaner and we both freaking hated it. You couldn't even, you couldn't hear the bike and you couldn't feel it and just we knew it was in there so let's go see how she sounds good folks first ride with the new exhaust system oh my god it's so much louder i'd say it's five times as loud as the stock exhaust and his bike is well i guess my diablo is insanely loud too the twin ducatis man i don't know they're pretty tough to beat. I love how skinny this thing is too. So easy to move around. So I think we're actually gonna swing by Dotto's house and check tire pressures, because um, he said my Diavel front tire feels like dog doo doo. So I think we'll do that. This still only has 293 miles on it. Again, that's an engine light. That'll be fixed whenever we do the uh, Acra flash tomorrow. But I'll check in with you guys once we get the uh, tire pressures adjusted. But man, it already is doing like those little pops when you come to a stop. Listen to it. Oh yeah, boy. All right, folks, we got pressure in our tires. Good thing we checked because they were both at like 23. They're supposed to be 32 and 36. The bikes feel a hell of a lot better. It's night and day difference. And the intake is so much louder, Dotto, from oh, removing yeah. that, that foam <laughs> insert. This puppy feels like it's breathing. It definitely, I think, still needs a flash, though. Oh, absolutely. It, it's it's not like bogging. Better. Yeah, it's not bogging, but I can tell there's more there. I think the linear curve is going to feel a hell of a lot nicer. Yeah, I think it's going to give you that, that mid-range, yeah. But, dude, it sounds amazing, doesn't it? Uh-huh. I just, it's such a gem of a bike because you can actually fully twist the throttle on a normal street and like comprehend what's happening, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like it's not like the V4 where you're just like going into freaking orbit mode and you can't see anything and you're just like praying and that, I don't know, like it's just much more manageable and it's, there's something about being able to twist a bike wide open 
That's just so fun, dude. And the and the shifts, man. Ooh, wee, the downshifts. Listen to all the pops, dude. The V4 was missing that. It didn't have that character like this one does, and like the, like the monster does, and like that does. It did on the pops, like on the upshifts, but it didn't have that. <laughs> it didn't have like the crackles and you know what I mean, the things on D cell and shit. I, I like that stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's even giving crackles on the downshifts. Listen to that, dude. It sounds so good. We gotta be careful. These roads are still cold, so. It just sounds so good, dude. <laughs> It is like, I honestly didn't even want to ride this bike when it was stock because I couldn't hear anything. And like, to me, it just, I don't know where I am in the RPMs. I don't know what the bike's doing. I don't know. And dude, holy shit, the 20 pounds of weight loss. Wow, it's a big difference. <laughs> Listen to this thing, dude. That's the difference, Dotto, with having like 150 horsepower, whatever this one is. We're gonna go left. Right. Well, wherever you want to go. Yeah, let's go left. Um, being able to twist it and open it up and just keep it opened up for a little bit and having some fun. That's what I like. Like when a customer brings over like 600 cc bikes or smaller engine bikes or something that's rowdy, you can just like rail through the gears. And it's fun. Roads, you're just like open throttle. It's so much more fun. It really is. And maybe it's just me getting older, um, but I don't want to go to jail or die. And those big bikes, the, the thousand cc bikes, man, I don't know. You just, you really got to twist them to have a, you know, to have a lot of fun. This one, especially because it's a twin and you get the, I mean, it only redlines at 11.5, which is still a lot, but it's not 16,000, you know what I mean? So you can yeah. actually shift through the gears and shit. Like the Panic, the V4, you can ride around in first gear pretty much every speed limit in America. Well, you could beat every speed limit in America in first gear, so. You don't really have to shift on that bike. Whereas this one, man, I don't know, dude. This is a good two bike combo right here, you know? Uh-huh. Oh man, I love this bike. I don't know. I think I would take this over a V4 for a personal bike. What do you it think? Doesn't, it doesn't really fit me too well. I'm, I'm too a big small. Guy. Yeah. So you do kind of look like uh, what did we say, Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong, yeah. <laughs> On this bike, the Diablo is your bike, dude. That's right. You look so good on the. Di <laughs> this is what happens when you don't ride for two months. Good. You get on a bike and you're just like, it's the best thing ever. It is. I feel so awesome right now. It is now. so nice, dude. Instantly in a good mood. Yeah. I mean, it's only 55, but it feels much warmer than that. I love these roads back here, dude. Let me hear a little twist of the throttle. <laughs> dude, I was wide open and barely keeping up with you. Really? Yeah, dude. The Diablo's nasty. <laughs> Low down. My dad said he beats everybody to like a hundred. Your dad also uh, runs everybody. <laughs> he does. That'd be like a little schoolgirl on like a little tricycle. Like, Come on. He blinked. Remember? <laughs> yeah, he did. He blinked at me. That uh, was that was a train, honey. But yeah, dude. Overall, feels a hell of a lot better, Dotto. I love that when you're on that bike, you can actually, like you were saying, you can actually hear everything. Now the engine. What's takes happening? Off. I rarely ever look at my dashboard, ever. Oh, I love the sound of that bike. This is a very low, raspy exhaust tone. It's so good. Well, that's the cool thing about this bike. It's a So when you came up the driveway, Dotto, I heard you inside, and I was like, God damn, it sounds like a muscle car, you know? <laughs> and my gardeners were out back, and they immediately stopped what they were doing and walked around to look and see what the hell it was. Because they were like, what is that, you know? It's a freaking super bike that sounds like a muscle car. <laughs> so dope, dude. The the V twin Panigale, well the V twin Ducatis, I should say. Are you want to turn around here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. They're, Sorry, they're still my all time favorite sounding and like riding bikes. Be careful here. Yeah. They're just so good, dude. Oh God, where did you take us? 
I was gonna be careful. We pulled over here before. We're off roading. Alright, watch me do a burnout, ready? Don't. <laughs> You'll throw them all over me. Alright. Um I'm just gonna leave it on. Well, never mind. I forgot that <laughs> the kickstand cuts it. Swap keys. Dude. I don't know man. I would take one of those as a personal bike, 100%. Look at how beautiful that thing is. I guess I should put this in my pocket before I forget. Is this closed? Okay. Oh. Everything's perfect too. I was, are you filming? Yeah. I was telling Jared that I'm very happy with how things went with this bike. Minimal amount of issues and hiccups. Well, the exhaust was a pain in the ass. Oh my god. All right. There's a dog over there. Dude, this has this clutch is a lot harder to pull in. Uh-huh. That's weird. I'll follow you. There's like nothing here. It feels so weird going from this or that bike to this bike. I am way cramped on this compared to that bike. Wow. Oh, I love the Diablo. Oh, I forgot how cool I feel on this bike. Let me see you on that thing. <laughs> I told you, that's all you want to do. Just twist the throttle, dude. I've been riding so many sport bikes, I haven't ridden my Diablo, man. It feels weird. The balance feels all off to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to being like up over the front tire. It feels like it's breathing way better. Oh yeah, big time. It doesn't before feel so restricted. It was way restrictive. And remember before too, even when it idled, it felt like it was going to shut off a lot. It actually did shut off on us a couple times. That's what happens. Go right, Dotto. Here, we're turning right. Yeah. That's what happens when you do all those restrictions from the factory. Uh -huh. When it comes to emissions and sound and all that, it ruins the, the, the engine. I love it. This thing's popping. What do you think, Dotto? I love it. I really do. It's such a light bike. It's insane, the handling of that thing. Because it's so skinny. Yeah, it's weird. I'm like squeezing with my legs and it's so skinny. I keep trying to get up next to you and you just keep fucking throttling away. Sorry, it's hard not to. That clear clutch looks so badass with the yellow oil or the green oil. Uh, the intake noise is like way louder. I love it. It's so dope, right? It's like the bike is giving me feedback while I'm riding it, you know? Yeah, which I really appreciate. It helps me ride better. Don't you think that's probably like, I'd say th three times louder than it was? Oh, absolutely. It's, you couldn't even hear it in stock form. It's nice because I know when to shift. Before I was riding this bike and everything else you were on, I was like, what, is my bike even running? Yeah, you have to stare at the RPM to see where you are. Oh, uh, there's, there's a school bus up here. Yeah. Hey, they implemented a new thing on these buses, Dotto. They have cameras. On buses? Yeah, so like when the stop signs come out, if, yeah. you, if you run those, they just send you a ticket in the mail now. So we should do wheelies past it? Or? Yeah, let's do it. Then they can't see our license plates. This sounds really good. It's amazing. I'm a little disappointed you put it in sport mode, though. The sport mode's just as good. It's just as good as race. I like to have a little bit more of the um, tracks control and stuff settings because the roads are so cold. Oh. I was I feel say, like I don't. Today's not really a day for race mode, but hey, it's Dado, so... Do your thing. Hey, you see the road up there? Yeah. That's, that's where we use. That's where we were. That's earlier. where we just were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We went up there and did a little loop. It's kind of depressing out here, dude. Everything's dead. But for for the middle of December, I cannot complain. It, if I can ride at least once or twice a month through the winter time, that would be so nice. So I'm thinking next week, Dotto, if all goes well, we can throw on the um, carbon wheels. Sounds like a plan to me. And those are not forged wheels on that bike, so the carbon wheels are gonna, sh they might shave 10 pounds, dude. No way. Yeah, with just exhaust and wheels, we could be at 30 pounds of weight savings. That's is, gonna be awesome. Which is pretty insane, yeah. 
<laughs> Did you get the D-cell burbles and shit? Did I was you? trying to get it to pop. It doesn't really do it unless you're really high in the RPMs and you upshift, yeah. Yeah, when I was coming over, it was doing it a lot. Yeah. But that bike is night and day with an exhaust. I do still think that exhaust should not be $6,500 plus tax and installation. I feel like forty two hundred was was better, which would it is what it used to be. I was uh, gonna say three grand maybe. But yeah, yeah, it, it yeah. is titanium, so I get it. And prices of everything have gone up, which is why everything's going up. But damn, dude, that's a lot of money. So you're saying since everything's going up, I should charge more to put it on? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you should. <laughs> I could hear it coming through the helmet, dude. Really? Yeah, when you when you twisted the throttle, it was insane. And thank God it wasn't right here, huh? Those kids were staring at the bike. Uh -huh. They literally stopped and both turned around. The Panigale, man. It's a universal sex appeal bike. Look at it. It's so light, it's weird. I love it. It's such a good bike, man. Is there anything else you want to say about the exhaust? Honestly, I feel like it's running a lot cooler than the factory exhaust. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. I didn't feel heat at all. Not nope. one ounce of heat. You're totally right. I totally forgot about it. Now, part of it, it is 55 degrees outside. But, to be fair, when I was doing the break-in, there were some days where it was high 50s, and I was still getting a ton of heat. And today, I got zero. What are you doing? I almost ran into you. <laughs> Tested a break. <laughs> yeah, they work. <laughs> they, they work. <laughs> it's never a dull moment. Hey, what are you doing? That was a stop sign. That, I did stop. I stopped in my mind. Yeah, you stopped thinking. <laughs> never. Yeah, this feels phenomenal. I love it. And I also love this bike. I still think I was telling Dotto. The best downshifts on any bike is this Diablo. It sounds so good. I'll give you a downshift right here. Listen to this. <laughs> it's crazy because when you're really close to me when you do that, I can feel it when you're in my chest. Yeah, dude. That is nutty. This bike's nasty. There we go. Now it's, yeah, now you can hear it. <laughs> I think that's the perfect amount of sound because it's loud enough to have a ton of fun, but it's not droney at all, you know? That's yeah, my favorite. Your daily bike and you're like on a highway, when, you, when it's too loud, you drone. It can get annoying Yeah. real quick. Remember the 959? Oh my God, that bike was ridiculous. We, we, we couldn't even have a conversation. <laughs> you actually couldn't. It was insane. All right, we got a beautiful sunset on a beautiful day and a beautiful ride. I had a really good time. I, I told Dada I was a little bit nervous because I thought it might be cold, like really cold today. And I just worry about shit. I'm getting old, you know. I worry about cold tires and all that stuff. We just took a whole bike apart, put it back together. Well, Dado did. Well, that the tire on the Diablo slid out on me a little bit. Yeah, like, pulling like into your place. Inches, yeah. yeah, that was crazy. So you got to be careful when you ride and it's cold, but um, both the bikes feel phenomenal. And this one in particular, like I said, if I was going to buy another personal bike, I'd get a V2. I'd probably buy that black one because um, I don't think you can get the Bayless anymore. And actually, Manny just got a new bike too. I don't want to spoil this fun. You'll see it on Moto Millions website. But um, there you go. The Bayless, dude. Beautiful bike. Such a gem of a bike. The oil's all nice and clean now. Look at that clear clutch cover. It's beautiful. We're starting to get some bluing in the exhaust. Look at that in there. Oh, man. <laughs> So badass, and not a single ounce of heat from that exhaust it today. Feels, yeah. Not one, dude. The bike feels so much better. Love it. So there, there you go. Um, next video you guys will see will be the uh, the dyno. I'm very excited to see how much power it makes. I forget what the stock numbers were. Do you remember Dotto? 135 I do not. or something? I'm, I don't know. I'm either to... awesome in numbers or I really suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll find out how much power it makes, but we already shaved 20 pounds with the exhaust gonna probably shave another 10 with the wheels and we still have a ton of carbon and cool parts to put on this thing so it's gonna be a quick build if you guys want to get signed up be entered to win this bike patreon.com slash camp pg customs it's always the first link in the description below 
And uh, it was good to see the Diavel, the Lambo Diavel out too. What a beautiful bike, man. And oh my God, that new Bentley Diavel. I can't believe they've now done three bikes in a row, collaboration bikes that are shades of green. That blows my mind. Pick a different color for the love of God. <sighs> anyway, I actually like this shade of green. New Bentley Diablo, not really a fan of. No, I won't be getting one, people are asking me. But that's it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.